problem with a voice meter that a lot of people are running into is crackling audio and it breaks up the microphone is not clear on the other end primarily it seems to be with discord and like TeamSpeak are the two programs that i have noticed um i'm sure that there's others i have noticed that i i use voice meter with microsoft teams and on a different computer that doesn't seem to have the same sort of problems so how do you fix that a lot of people already on youtube if you if you research, you know, voice meter, crackling audio, you'll see that there's a lot of videos already out there that discuss downloading a program called Process Lasso, and you can set a um, priority and an affinity on a particular process, so that way each time you restart your computer, it retains those settings. So you can you can change those settings. Um, here's my task manager. If we come down to audiodg.exe, and I've just minimized that because I don't, I'm, I only want to show this one. So what you can do is on the details tab, you can find audiodg.exe. If you right click, and you can see that my priority is already set to high, but normally when you start Windows, it's set to normal. And the affinity, all of these CPUs are checked, and that's by default when you first start it up. You can manually come in here and change that each time you start Windows, but that will grow very old very fast. So what I have found just through Googling is you can, you know, obviously you can use the process lasso like the other videos, or you can set up two different files. You can have a PowerShell script file that will run and change the priority and the affinity automatically for you. And then you have a batch file and the batch file is only there to call and run the PowerShell script file. So through some Googling, I have found this. So I figured I might as well make a video and show others how to do that to fix this problem. So that way, each time you start Windows, it you don't have to manually make this change. So all you do is we're going to open up a notepad file. So we'll open up notepad. And there's, there's two files that we need to create. The first one, we're going to create the script that's actually going to make these changes for us. So in short of, or in lieu of typing all of this out and wasting your time, I'm just going to paste the text in and you can obviously pause this video and copy it. I will, if YouTube allows, I'll put the text in the description below that way you can easily copy and paste it otherwise type this out so what we're going to do we're going to need two lines in the very first file that we're going to make the first line we're going to type in this text and you'll see that it is effectively it's it's getting the process it's finding the process and it's filtering for the name of audiodg.exe which you'll find in your task manager right here under the details tab for that task, it's going to set the priority and it's equal to a value of 128. There's different values that you can use. If you want it to be low, it's 64. Above, above low or above normal, if we, uh, let's, let's go back here and look at the priority. So you have low, that equals 64. Below normal, from Googling, it looks like it's 16384 normal is 32 above normal is 32768 high is 128 which you can see I have here here and real time is 256 so I took a screenshot from Google and you can see that here are the values if you need to change that for whatever reason so that's the first line of text that we need or the first line of code that we need in our, we're gonna make this be a PowerShell script file. The second line is we're going to hit enter. We're going to paste in this text. Now it's saying for that process of the audio DG, it's saying set the affinity equal to four. The reason why it's four, because if we come back into affinity, four divided by two is CPU two. So if you set this to 
affinity equals eight, it would be CPU four. So on, you know, so you can select whatever CPU that you want. So I just set it to two. Seems to work great. So your mileage may vary. So those are the two lines of text that we need in this in this file. And what we'll do is we're going to save as. We're just going to save it to the desktop. And we'll say it is audio dg.ps1. And that is for a PowerShell file. So when we hit save, you'll see that now on our desktop, we now have this audio dg.ps1. In order to call this file, we need a batch file to run this for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up another notepad file. And now we're going to copy in the text for, there's two lines of text in this batch file. The first line is going to be at echo off. And the second line It's going to be PowerShell, this no profile execution policy bypass that's effectively running in administrator, administrator mode. Now, again, if I say something wrong or if other people say, no, you're wrong, I'm not a programmer. All right. Whatever. You know, like if I get it wrong, I get it wrong. It works. That's all I know. Um, I am not a <laughs> Windows programmer by trade. Just got this through Googling. It works for me. So it should, you know, hopefully it works for you. It's saying run the command. It's going to start PowerShell. And it wants to run this file. And it's going and it's going to run that file. So you would set this folder path to be wherever your PowerShell script file is right here. So we put that to the desktop. And the title of the file is audio dg.ps1. So we will save this. We'll do a save as. And for no rhyme or reason, we're just going to save it to the same place. So we're going to say uh, test audio dg batch file. It doesn't matter what you call it. So we'll do dot bat at the end, which will turn this notepad file into a batch file. We'll hit save, and then we'll see a second file pop up on our desktop. And you can save these in any location you want. Just make sure that whatever location folder path that you save these files in, especially the .ps1 file, make sure you pull that folder name or file path and paste it into this .bat file. So now, to prove this out, We'll do set priority. I'm going to reset this to normal and I'm going to set the affinity and I'm going to check all of these. Then I'll run this batch file and we'll come back in. We'll prove that it works. So now that it is ran, it will, as soon as you double click on the .bat file, it's going to ask you, uh, do you allow this file to run? You can just select yes, because it's trying to run in, in administrator mode. So now if we right click and we come back in to set priority, you can see now it's back to high and the affinity is locked to CPU two. So this method is in lieu of downloading the program process lasso. Now, you can either, if you have, say, a Stream Deck or any other kind of um, hardware hotkeys, you can actually link that file to a hotkey. And in order to do that, like on a Stream Deck, you would just say, set this button to open a file, and you're going to direct it to say, open this .bat file, which will then in turn run the .ps1 file. Another method of doing that, is to run this at when you first log in. So you don't have to always do that or you don't even have to push a button. So in order to do that, you would click on your start menu button and you're gonna type in 
task scheduler. And when you pull up task scheduler, you'll get this window and you're going to say actions, create task. When you create the task, you name it anything you want. So just test audio DG. We're going to run with the highest privileges because we want it to run with admin mode. We don't want anything to stop this from running. I'm just going to do configure for Windows 10. For the triggers, I'm going to say new. And I'm going to select this drop down. I'm going to select at logon. I'm not going to do at startup. I'm specifically doing at logon. For any users, I'm the only one that uses the computer, so, but you can select a specific user if you need to. For me, I delay the task and I delay it for 30 seconds after I log in. And that's only to make sure that, you know, the, the initial loading of Windows, I want to make sure that that audio DG process is currently running because if the process isn't running you can't change any attributes of something that doesn't exist yet in windows so i'm going to delay that for 30 seconds that's the lowest i can go you can select a minute if you really want to uh, but i i have found for me 30 seconds is m way more than enough it i need i could do 15 seconds if i wanted to so 30 seconds and then i'm going to select okay and then we'll come in. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back into edit. And I'm going to stop the task. I, I like doing this just in case something did go wrong, but I do stop task if it's running longer than 30 minutes. I'm going to come over to actions. I'm going to select new. I'm going to say start a program. And I'm going to browse for that batch file. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select OK. For the conditions, because I'm on a desktop, I don't need to worry about if it's on AC or power or not. It's always on AC power, so I just uncheck that. Um, you can leave that check if you really wanted to. Um, but for me, I'll uncheck it. For the settings, I will say stop again if the task runs longer than one hour. And I select OK. So now, each time you start restart your computer, or each time you log, not necessarily restart, but each time you log in under a user, that test audio DG batch file dot BAT, that file is going to get triggered 30 seconds after you log in. So now you have two different methods of running this. It should run automatically as soon as you log in, 30 seconds after you log in. But if for whatever reason it doesn't, and you had, say, a Stream Deck or any other kind of hotkeys, or you could even just double-click on this file, that will automatically change your priority to high and your affinity to just CPU2, which... Wills will correct your crackling audio in lieu of downloading process lasso.